Jay Bills from Media Spotlight UK, reunited with the one and only Warren Spencer in the building. I mean, it got heated on stage. Um, a lot of back and forth between you and Joel, as even what we talked about the other day. Uh, how are you feeling now? Fantastic, brother. And uh, it's nice to meet you. And uh, thanks for having me here in person. Uh, it's always great in person. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, bro, this is the part of any event, any boxing event, any show that people forget to have some fun and enjoy yourself. I didn't spend six weeks torturing myself or getting tortured by the boxing Yoda over there to come here and not enjoy myself, you know? Everyone tuning in at home as well, take notes. You need to relax and have fun at this point, otherwise it's not worth it. I saw like the face off that you did earlier on the uh, Instagram and it was pretty heated to say the least. Uh, a lot of daddy references, uh, you're claiming that, you know, you're going to be sunning him uh, as far as like how the fight goes. Um, are you trying more to get into his head at this point now? The thing is, brother, I'm a, I'm a very respectful man, right? And I operate and I reciprocate respect. And when a man disrespects me, that's when it changes the game, you know? And all this man has showed me since day dot, since I knew who, is, who he was or what his name was, is disrespect. So what am I going to do? I'm going to reciprocate that back to him, you know? I, op I operate like that in all realms of life, not just fighting. So, you know, if you can't do the small things right, you can't do the big things right. And that's what you've seen there, reciprocation. And look, I do respect every man that gets in the ring of fights. It's a difficult thing to do. You know, you're under the pressure, you're under the lights. And that's something that he hasn't experienced before. You know, he says he hasn't had any fights. I don't believe that for a second. He's probably had about 600 street fights when he was a kid. But if you bring that street energy, like he's trying to do now, into the professional boxing realm, you're going to get smoked. And it's as simple as that. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate tomorrow night. And of course, obviously, like your records and his record, obviously it's the first time he's getting into the ring. Mm. Um, you said to me the other day, you're not underestimating anybody, but considering obviously this is the first time in the ring, you've had experience, how will that dynamic play out as far as like, you know, how you will look to be in a ring? Because it looks like, you know, for every fight you've taken on, you're just seeing it at face value, just see how, you know, things go, go for you, you know? For sure, brother, make no mistake. He's a man in there, he's strong, he's fit. So I've got to expect anything and everything that's going to come from him, you know. I see a lot of uh, emotion. I see him overreacting a lot. And um, I just see him crumbling under the pressure. I'd hate to fight me. And I don't say that lightly. I mean it. I would fucking hate to fight me, brother, for that simple reason. And look, he could take a smack. He could. But I very much doubt it in 10-ounce gloves with my power. It's as simple as that. You know, but again, we have to remain vigilant we have to look at this man as for what it is he's another man in there he's strong he's fit he's young he's got two hands anything can happen mate so we've got to be cautious put him away clinically i mean not looking past joel i mean i know we discussed it last week pretty much but uh, has it changed in terms of you know after your fight are there other people that you're considering that you know should you win the belt that you want to defend your belt against yeah i mean i uh, i plan to be a uh, a very active champion you know, if I'm holding that belt, I will defend it as much as I need to defend it. I'm never going to say no to a fight. Uh, Jack Fincham, I don't know if that fight's going to be there anymore. He keeps running and uh, I haven't seen him anywhere here today, so I don't know what's going on with him. But um, another, another guy that keeps stalking me is Ben Williams. Ooh. I don't know why. Ooh. He must fall to me. He must fancy me or something. Because every time I, I log on to my phone, onto social media, I see a little comment from him or a little DM trying to get into my inbox. Well, Ben, I'm right here, you little mushroom. Come and get it whenever you want. What is he like, skeleton, flyweight, 60 kg or something? I'm gonna have to fucking run 10 marathons to weigh in to fight you, but it is what it is. I'll do it and I'll smash into bits as well. He's got like a little amateur style. You know, he's dead bouncy around the ring. Looks like a little toddler. But look, that style for me is fucking heaven. I'm a brawler, I'm a real fighter. When he gets punched by a man that's got my power, He'll have never experienced it before in his life. But, but, you know, that's not my focus right now. My focus is on destroying that weapon in there, wherever he is. And then, you know, we'll see what it looks like and we'll move into the uh, skin and bone division. Final few things from me. Um, I mean, it got announced on the uh, CFN Instagram that we could, it's teased, but it, we could be potentially see Andrew Tate in the ring in Dubai in late, December, so it seems. I mean, what are your thoughts surrounding that? Because it has been like teased on the CFN Instagram. It's like I said, brother, Andrew, Andrew does whatever he wants. Andrew Tate, if he wants to fight tomorrow, he'll fight and best believe he's ready. That man does 30 rounds in the blistering heat or the rain 
or anything in his back garden every single day without fail. He is an absolute monster of a man. If anyone thinks he's not ready for a fight, they're delusional. So if, if the fight's there and it's right and he can, you know, he, he can make it, it's a possibility. But look, he's his own man. He does what he wants. Nothing I say to you today is going to influence what Andrew wants to do, you know? And that's it, brother. It got announced the other day uh, on Misfits that KSI will be fighting Anthony Taylor and Slim in a 2v1 fight. I just wanted to get your thoughts on it um, since you expressed last time about, you know, KSI, if it be that Andrew Tate were to come into influence of boxing. What's your thoughts on that fight coming up? Hey, that's an interesting fight, brother. KSI versus Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor and Slim. That's a huge challenge for KSI, you know? JJ, fair play to him. I know he's had a bit of to and from with Andrew and Tristan. They're not in his best books, but I've got to take my heart off to KSI in that one. You know, it's a big fight against two beasts. They are good fighters. If anyone thinks that Anthony Taylor and, uh, and Slim are bad in any shape or form, they're delusional again, you know? That's a fantastic fight. It's a big ball fight. KSI could have fought anybody and he's chose that fight because he wants to prove himself so I take my hat off to you KSI if you see this fair play to you mate you know uh, it's going to be a very entertaining fight and uh, who knows who knows who makes an appearance over there when that fight's going down you never know a final message to Joel and to your fans out there uh, for your fight tomorrow night uh, what can fans expect bro tune in you'll expect fireworks but don't blink because this one is going to be over soon and there you go, said it from the man himself. Warren, always a pleasure to speak to you and I wish you all the best for tomorrow night.